Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have this red carpet look. This is probably one of my funnest videos to record so far. What girl doesn't like to get dressed up and in a pretty dress, and this was the perfect excuse for that. So I'll be showing you both the hair and the makeup for this look, so stay tuned and let's get started. Alright, so starting off with fresh clean skin, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Primer and applying that all over my face. And then following with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Then for contour, I go in with the Smashbox Contouring Palette. And then my favorite blush in Luminoso by Milani. Now going in with the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer and just bronzing up my face. I really wanted it to be really warm just because I did self tan a little bit to look better in the dress. So I do want my face to match a little bit more to my body. And for the brows, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Taupe. So now for the eyes, I'm going to start with the Tartiest in Bloom palette, starting with the color Sweetheart, and applying that into the crease. Then going in with the second color in Rebel, just make that crease a little bit more dramatic. Then going in with an even deeper color in Leader to just add a little bit more depth to the eye. Just focusing on the outer corner of the eye. This is again just to kind of elongate the eye and really just add a little bit more shadow. Then going back into that color in Rebel, I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line. Then taking in a fluffier brush and kind of just smudging that through. Then for concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Light Medium Honey. Then going in with a Beauty Blender and just blending everything out. And to set all my face makeup, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I normally don't bake, but I felt for this I did want a little bit more clean lines, so I am curving out my bronzer on my cheeks. Then going in with the Becca Highlighter in Champagne Pop, as always, and just highlighting my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and the top of the cheekbones. And for the lips, I went in with Peach Buff by Maybelline. Now to add a little more drama to the eye, I did spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus by MAC and then dip that into Funny Girl on the same Tarte palette and apply that to the inner corner and just bottom part of the lid. Then I'm going to go in with another metallic color in Firecracker that's just a little bit warmer and a little bit darker and it's the perfect center kind of color to transition both that really light metallic into that more smoked out area. Then just lining my waterline with the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus pencil. And for mascara, I am using the Better Than Sex Mascara. It isn't my favorite, but we're going to be applying falsies anyway. So for this, it works just fine. Then to create just a very soft wing liner, I'm going in with Smoke Show. Then 
Then I'm applying these falsies and these are by the brand Crema. And then just applying a tad bit more mascara just to kind of bind my lashes with the falsies. And now it's time to start on the hair. So this was day old hair and I wanted to add some dry shampoo not just to freshen up the hair but really to give it a little bit more grit. Anytime you are styling your hair it is definitely best to do so on hair that's not completely clean. I am now adding the Whey texturizing spray and again that just adds texture and just really helps those curls stay. And I went for a side part here. and now going towards the back and I'm just teasing that a little bit just to volumize, set, and prep the hair for the rest of the style. And then grabbing horizontal sections across the top, I'm just teasing that as well just to add some volume and to really create that kind of swoopy wave. So now starting on the other side, I'm curling towards the face. And this gives it a little bit more of an elegant and more kind of old world feel as opposed to curling away from the face which gives you a much more laid back and kind of beachy feel. So now I'm just using the curling iron to kind of add a little bit of volume and setting that in by just kind of tossing the hair over to the side. Then starting with sections in the back, I'm starting with about one inch sections and again curling that towards the face. And I'm going to let each piece just sit in that kind of really tight curl. We will kind of brush through it in a bit, but we really want that curl to set. And then just spraying everything with a little bit of Bumble Mumble hairspray just to set the look and you are done. All right guys, so that is it. That is my red carpet inspired hair and makeup look. I definitely wanted to glam it up a little bit so it went a little bit more intense on the smoky eye and finished with this old Hollywood waves look. Hope you guys enjoy this video, I love you and I'll see you next time, bye.